Oh, yes. That's so exciting. I've already been fishing for a minute, and today we had success. First time ever. Caught a trout. You're going to see it. <laughs> Yes. Come on. Come on. Yeah, just the first one I've got. I haven't been here long though. You like that rooster tail? You smashed that. It's actually my first trout ever. I ain't never seen first one I've been trout fishing. Yeah, what are you throwing out there? I'm using a salmon egg. That's so, so exciting. That's exciting. First time. Let's get you back in that, buddy. I got thousands of dollars of tackle to talk to good fans. Yeah, that's me. I typically bass fish on Lake Hartwell in my kayak. And yeah, I do it up at the spot. I like going to Spanner River. Blood down. Yep. You ever try there? Mm -hmm. I like it up there too. Boat ramp right off of 181. Yeah, 181 boat ramp. I haven't been to that ramp yet, but I've caught a few bass this year so far. I've been <sighs> fishing off the uh, ramp all up under. I've had a hard time this year fishing for bass. Like I can't find one. Every but... one I found this year has been under that boat dock. Hmm. Just uh, caught one with a flat side of crank. All right. Caught the other one off uh, he's in a little tight rope uh, jigs. Yeah. Carl's released. Yeah. I got a couple of them. I mean, they're this big. Right. I put a little net base uh, bug on the back. So if you pop it up, pop it down, man, I think it's flat. It's amazing. Nice. Snatch. See, I got a buddy, he told me to start using the A-Rig here in Lake Hartwell around this time of year. He's like, you'll get him. He said, find the bait ball, throw an A-Rig down there, and just slow roll it. See, most time this year, I catch them using jerk baits. Jerk, yeah, jerk, imitating that dying fish. Did, uh, I use a big six cents for boats. All right. Slowly jerking them and, oh. so, biggest hiccup I'm finding, man, I can't even find a bait ball. But I mean, I've only been out like three times this year. I've, this is like my third time trying to trout fish. And, it's my first time ever. Uh, that, was, that was a decent sized rainbow trout. Had I had a bag, he might have went home. That was a weird one. Yeah, just one, not too long ago. Catcher, they ain't even a fish in sight. Yeah, I went out there about a month ago and 80 million people, but no fish. <laughs> so. I guess since COVID, they just stopped releasing them or whatever. Well, they're, they're still releasing. I just don't know what day they release up there, but I think the locals up there know and they're kind of cleaning them out right now. They reduced how many they're, they're releasing, but they're still letting them go once a week. Yeah, you, you used to go up there, you can see them in the water and swim in. Yeah. One. I'm thinking around summer it'll get a little bit better. I hope so. Yeah. Oh baby, look at this one. Here we go. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Woo hoo hoo. I'm a little more than bummed out. I think two of the catches I got were not on camera. I've caught three trout today and I think the GoPro SD card I was using, uh, it's a budget model and it's trash. So um, yeah, it kept kept shorting the videos and I switched the SD card. We're gonna see if that gets better, but I'm super disappointed in that. 
uh, you know, I waited to, to catch all these trout and I finally get three on camera and I think I've only got two that you're going to be able to see. But it happened. I got pictures of the second one. I didn't take any pictures of the third one, but so is life, right? It's lunchtime though. We ain't going to be too upset. Well, so far so good. Easy on the sugars, not so much on the carbs. I would do this one again. If this had hot sauce, it'd probably be like a seven. In case you guys don't know, I'm a big hot sauce fan. Without hot sauce, you know, I'm gonna go seven anyway. It might be an eight with hot sauce. Like, it's pretty good. I still think the vegan option of the Leonardo da Fettuccine is probably still the winner, the one to beat. I hate that I have a fouled out SD card, but I'm gonna order a SanDisk Extreme. Uh, I went with the Ultra and the 128. I'm not doing it. I don't want any more footage to get missed. I don't want what's on there to get corrupted because I know I have at least one catch on there. I hope I have the other two on that card and I've got one on this SD card. Clean up, no trace left behind, right? That's a fish. Come here, buddy. All right, come here. All right. It's a nice one. All right. All right, guys. I got four on the day. That is fantastic for me. Uh, I've been trying to catch a trout for a couple months now. I'm not saying I go every weekend, you know, weather's been kind of rough. I've wanted to go a couple more times, but it's my third trip. And on my third trip, I pulled in four. Unfortunately, I have a janky memory card. Um, it, it was doing weird things and it, then it would, you know, stop recording. I'd start the recording and it would say file corruption. Now that's not saying I didn't get a few on there. I don't know exactly how many I got. I know I've got at least two trout catches on camera, another one that I took a picture of, you know, I wanted to share it with my wife uh, pretty quick because I was pretty pumped about it. And then I've got hopefully the other other fish at least is recorded on there. I, I don't know. I won't know until I get home. I took the SD card out when it started talking about corruption and put another one in. Uh, the one I put in is telling the camera it's getting too hot to overheat. So I'm going to have to order like a SanDisk Extreme. Uh, and tell you what, if you have a GoPro and you recommend an SD card, one that doesn't cause issues like overheating and doesn't corrupt easily, let me know in the comments because I, I need to get one. I'm thinking the SanDisk, Ex SanDisk Extreme is a good one. But if you have one that doesn't give you any trouble verified, please let me know. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the day. The rooster tails are a good idea, you know. There's a guy in the comments in the last video. I'll have to go look back and see who it is. Uh, I'll probably put like a quick shout out to him right here. You know, he basically told me to stop using the bobber and worms to get a rooster tail. Every video I've ever seen of somebody catching a trout up here at Burroughs Ford, um, they're, they're always using power bait and a bobber. Uh, so I, I was trying to imitate what I saw, but the rooster tail, it did it for me. I loved it. It was great. Four trout on the day. I'm excited. I've got some GoPro issues I've got to get taken care of because I need that to be reliable. Um, I don't want to be like, hey, I got to take this back. But if I if I can't get it working right, I've got to take it back and I'll get another Acaso camera. I much prefer the video and audio that I'm getting from the GoPro. But stability to me 
is the most important thing. And if I can't get it stable with a new SD card, a high-end SD card, it's gotta go back. And I love the camera. I like how I sound on it. I like the quality. I like the, the 4K 60 frame per second. Fantastic video, but I need it to stay up. I need it to record until the battery's dead or the SD card is full. That's how an action cam has to work. But that's it guys. Overall takeaway for trout on rooster tails. I got a five pack from Academy for $8. It resulted in four trout. I wish I'd brought like a nice bag or something. I'd be going home for laying some wonderful looking trout. A couple of them were a decent size. Um, thanks for coming on the ride. I told you we'd stick with it. We'll eventually get some trout. And by God, we did it. We, we got better at it. We, we took tips. We watched videos. Uh, you guys helped make it happen. Thank you so much. It was great fun. Uh, I hope maybe, maybe later I can go for like a brook trout. I know the hatchery, you know, they spawn and release a lot of brook trout. Uh, all I saw today was rainbow, and that's fine. Those are such beautiful fish. Um, yeah, absolutely loved it. Hey, thanks for coming along. I know I've already said that, but thanks twice. It means a lot to me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. All of that means a lot to me as well. Um, thank you.